children yesterday i have taught you about the sentence and today i am going to describe classification of sentences children due to some technical failures uh, we had a bit of loss of time to upload the english video now today we may start classification of sentences sentences can be classified on the basis of their nature and structure on the basis of their structure nature sentences are of four kinds first one is assertive or declarative sentences these can sentences make a sentence and always end with a full stop they may be affirmative or negative for example honesty always pays it is an affirmative sentence and dishonesty never pays it is a negative sentence second one interrogative sentences these sentences denote a question or interrogation and always end with a question mark these sentences usually with an auxiliary or a wh question word example do you smoke question mark second who has the class question mark now we are coming to the third kind of sentence that is the imperative sentence these sentences do not arrest the session warning the command etc and ends with a full stop and sometimes with a exclamation mark please lend me your book it is a request drive carefully on this road it is an advice stop watch out it is a warning now fourth is an exclamation sentence it is a strong feelings or excitement and end with an exclamation mark for example how beautiful the flower is second how sadly you behaved third oh that is a good part mein third agli pari pari so children on the basis of we have the three kinds of sentences simple sentences the uh, uh, these sentences have only one clause they have a subject a verb and a complete thought for example i saw him on the road my brother and anita are friends second one complex sentences complex sentences have one main clause and one more subordinating clause connected to the main clause example where it is a subordinating clause just had left the place this is the main clause second he did not wear his coat it is the main clause but it was not and it is the subordinating clause remember children when the subordinating clause comes first comma should be used to separate the two clause secondly when the a comma should be used to separate the two clause today's lecture is this much only children now we will carry on for the next lecture tomorrow